Another point that um, clients often find very important, particularly again, if you're the parent who isn't being allowed to see your children, you may feel, well, okay, but mediation is not binding. We can negotiate in mediation, but the other parent can ignore what was agreed in mediation. How do I make sure that this doesn't happen to me again? Well, something I frequently advise is that even if you use mediation, there's no reason why that agreement, um, and it's, it's turned into something called a parenting plan by the mediator, uh, that parenting plan can then be used as a foundation for a court order. Now that doesn't mean you have to go to court, what it means is that a solicitor will draft a court order for you and send it to the court for a judge to approve without you having to attend a court hearing or go to court at all. And it's a good way of ensuring that you have an order which ultimately helps both parents because you both know where you stand and you know that you have something that you can use uh, to enforce the arrangements if the other person um, breaks them or if, if one of you isn't keeping to what you've agreed in mediation.